What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome to the finale of our Monmouth Hawks Prestige Dynasty and the grand finale of NCAA 14. We got our national championship game against UCF. We got our Heisman winning halfback. And we are going to try and go absolutely ham on them. Let's go. Alright, they've got one of the top ranked rushing offenses, so we gotta look out for that on defense. I almost put, Mc uh, not McAllister, uh, Underwood in here a kick returner, but this is what Sims has been doing all year. Why take it away from him now? A brand new Heisman winning halfback, and hey, you know what? Fifth place in the Heisman for a quarterback, too. That should not be slept on. Dang, 99 overall feels good. It's still not game-breaking. North Carolina was up to number three. They just lost, but if UCF had gone down, we'd be playing North Carolina right now. So close yet, so far. Watch for the cover three. We gotta do it to him. Especially with 99 speed. He's gone. Oh, no, they caught him anyways. Okay. Well, guess what? For the third consecutive year, Husky broke his passing record. Okay, well, 99 overall does not make him perfect. <laughs> He's still going to get tackled in the backfield if he runs into a blitz. Texas only dropped to number five, but then they lost to Boise State. Miami was number six. They just lost. It's a good thing these teams won, I guess. And Randall with the drop. That's what I get for not trusting the Heisman winner with that. We're not here to kick field goals. Yep. Oh, denied. Right on the goal line, too. Well, there. Now he broke that record. Granted, he already had the record. He just broke his own record. Good TFL for Wilkerson there. So I looked it up. The all-time rushing record for career touchdowns is 88 by uh, uh, Keenan Reynolds for Navy. So we're at, what, just in the last two seasons, 78, 77? The first year, I think we maybe had like three. I don't think we can set the career record today, but we can come pretty close. Um, again, I wish I knew what his career stats were off the top of my head, but I do not. And he threw, he had a wide open receiver. I don't know why he threw that out, but... Thanks. We will not be chewing clock today. I don't care. I don't care how the game starts going. Sims, please pick up the ball. Buffalo put up, what was it, 77 we put up in the national championship at the end of the relegation league? So, if we do more than that, we do more than that. I, I don't care. I'm not going to go crazy passing the ball, though, because we still got that rushing record to go for. Good run, Runderwood. Ah, oh, that safety saw it. I thought he was going to go after someone else, and Underwood was going to have all the room in the world. I was so fascinated by the left guard, like, flipping the D-lineman up in the air that I was not paying attention to where he was going. Oh, my God. Herman. Now he's got a touchdown this year. He was open, open. All right, that's a 14-0 lead once we kick this PAT. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to sweat this one. I mean, to be fair, over the last two seasons, what's the toughest game we had? It was, what, James Madison and in the conference championship against Bama last week. Good wrap-up, Willis. Oh, I got there with Bullock, but I got stiff-armed. He still only gets one and a half. They're going to call it two, but it's third and six. He just, like, nonchalantly threw that one out of bounds. I didn't even, like, I was just flabbergasted. I didn't do commentary on it. All right, another three and out for the defense. Okay, there we go. They keep blitzing so the rushing attack isn't going well. This actually looks like some something better running through. Yeah, there we go. Nine yards. I'm going to send Sims on a, well, I guess kind of a fade, but whatever. Now nah, that guy had tight man coverage on him. I thought for a second I was going to get him. End of the first quarter, we're up 14-0 on UCF, and I think it's about to get worse for him. Oh, I guess uh, for the sake of full disclosure, I turned injuries off for this game because there ain't no way I'm going to play this and have, you know, Underwood or Husky or someone go out in the first quarter the way that Mike Davis went out for the final episode of the Relegation League. So I, I don't think it matters. We've been playing safe all year anyways, but just for full transparency. And Herman, again, beat this guy. Oh, my God. 24, you are not having a good day. Herman has decided now, after two seasons, is when he's going to go off. I've also decided I don't care about the records anymore. It'd be nice, but, like, this is the final episode. You guys don't want to see me just, like, shove the ball to Underwood every, like, every play. So, no, if he doesn't get the... If he gets it naturally, great. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, I almost accidentally went for a two-pointer there. Coach Adamus warning us about inside tackle run. Well, I mean, I was already blitzing, but I'll do a more aggressive blitz now, I guess. He got the garbage animation, though. Had him wrapped up in the backfield, and he carried Edmund for five or six yards. There we go. I slowed him down, and then he got finished off by Willis. Good TFL there. I don't know if they're going to go for it. I'm assuming, yeah, we're inside the 30. They're going to punt it. I mean, to them, it's still the beginning of the second quarter. But either way, that is a third straight three and out for him to start the game. Not great. Not great. Watch for zone blitz. Okay, well, I was going to go sprint out smash, but zone blitz means that, uh, again, you know, center of the field probably going to be open, especially depending on what that center does. Or that center. Safety right there. Safety backpedal too far. Oh, they forced under with a drop it. Conservative catch and 99 catch stat now, and he still dropped it. That was a good hit then. Sims got open on that streak, though. Great catch in traffic there by Sims again. More blitzes for you guys, huh? Okay. Oh, that guy stepped in front of the pass. I thought I had him wide open. I was going to go angle smash, but I see the safeties moving around. Someone's coming in on the blitz. And that guy was going the wrong way trying to get Underwood. In for a rushing or receiving touchdown. Doesn't help any records whatsoever, but now it's going to be a four touchdown lead. And they still haven't gotten the first down. Oh, see, I thought I had decent coverage on that one, but I guess he did have that step. Oh, they got their first down. Okay. They finally did it. Oh, I took a bad angle there. All right, well, third and three still. They're going five wide. Coach called zero blitz. Are you out of your damn mind? And he missed the out route. Oh, that was a good punt by that guy. But I kind of thought they were going to go for it. I mean, it was a terrible punt, but because of where they were on the field. Okay, you can't creep up like that and expect me now to go for this. The greed is real with me. Come on. He lost the cheat, and the cheat steps out of bounds. Damn it. 
And I put him on a streak, too, just to make sure he wouldn't do that, but it was slightly inaccurate. Oh my god, that was a beautiful downfield block. Just came out of nowhere and took out the safety. You'll love to see it. Ah, oh crap. I got excited. I called four verts that it was Tuggle out here with no Underwood. And I thought he was going to get open, and then he didn't, and then I forgot that there were defensive linemen playing this game, and now it's third and 23. Hey, Randall, it worked on Bama. I figure it's worth giving a shot here, right? I mean, it got it to fourth and eight. Randall was covered, but he drew... He drew two safeties with him. And Coach is going for it because, uh... He knows what's up. And I got Underwood. Break in case of emergency. He's killing it. He's on 113 yards already. Come on, King, get into the end zone. There we go. All right. I just wanted to make sure Herman's got a couple touchdowns. King's in there. Obviously, uh, we don't have to worry about Underwood. I'm just trying to go down the list. Screen pass. The fact that we only stopped him for no gain instead of a TFL when he was surrounded by more blue jerseys than white. He took off. There, okay, we finally got him down. I'm going to take a timeout now. There we go. Good TFL. Take another timeout. All right, so a minute 11 left. We're going to get this ball probably around midfield. But it lands in midfield, so we'll be even better than that. Yeah, we got, we got plenty of time. Sims beat his man. Going from playing Bama to playing UCF, and they're still a good overall school, but you can feel the difference there. I'm just trying to force it on a corner route. I'm just trying to get either... Like, I'm trying to get everyone a touchdown, basically. Good catch by Sims. He doesn't have the greatest hands on the team, like, by the stats, but, uh... By what happens on the field, he's unstoppable. I'm looking at Tuggle here. Or the cheat. It was Tuggle. Tuggle getting a touchdown. Herman getting a touchdown. King getting a touchdown. We need the cheat. We need Sims. And we need Randall. Everyone's got to get at least one. I could even try and get McAllister and Jimmy Finns in here. Depending on how well the game goes, at least. Good tackle, Brown. End of the first half. Only 14 minutes of NCAA 14 remain. We're up 42-0 on UCF. Nope. Oh, Burks tried to get there. Brown and Edmund finish him off, though, so no gain for him. Third and two. And he drops it. Fourth and two. Broken tackle for Sims, but they're, uh, they're quick out here. Still, I'll take 13 on a punt return. Good run. Oh, my God, the blocks got there. Come on, Underwood. He's gone. Halfback dive. And just with a couple of blocks, takes it all the way in. Is that the record? Oh, that's not the career record yet. I thought that would have been enough. Okay, Burks, good coverage. You know, first team, second team, all-conference, something like that, and... Nope. Just those picks making you look better than you are, I guess. I went to tackle him. He didn't even flinch. It was no effect. And Roman Reigns. Who else? It's so weird how it's an inverted D-line because the two D-tackles are the pass rushers and the D-ends are the ones stopping the run. Oh, well, there's Edmund.
Willis tried his best, but I don't know what you expect him to do against a big-ass tight end. I'm kind of okay with them scoring because it'll keep the game slightly closer and not put the backups out here as soon. Screen pass incoming. So, right in the man coverage. Take Willis. It's a wide receiver screen, ain't it? Nope, it was. I took Willis and it didn't matter. Oh my god. I saw the screen pass coming, Coach Thomas told me, and I still couldn't stop it. Just by having that extra blocker with a tight end. Also, I took Willis and I should not have taken Willis. I should have taken one of the linebackers. And they missed the PAT. Oh, I thought the cheat was about to beat that guy. Watch for cover two. Um, I wonder if that means I can get the cheat going on a streak here with the king going on the streak here. And Vaster inside has made this four verts with Herman running a garbage route. Ooh, the cheat made it to get that one. That's why I can't throw it that deep, though. He was wide open, but I didn't have the arm strength. But the cheat getting up and getting that contested catch. Herman, another nice snag. He hasn't he's been shut out since the first quarter, I feel like, but three for 81, two touchdowns. His least successful catch today. Oh, knocked out at the last second. I thought Sims had that touchdown. She gets the ball knocked out too. Oh, uh, see that again, that guy had his back to the cheat, so I thought for sure that was a touchdown. I thought he wasn't going to see the corner strike coming, and then he stayed on top of it instead. <laughs> Willis popped him. Thank you! JoJo Edmund with redemption, go! In for the pick six! After smack talking him all season in the final game, JoJo Edmond, gorgeous coverage. The backups are out here. It's the third quarter of the national championship game. The backups are out here. And the draw play gets blown up. And uh, yeah, I'm just taking a wild guess to say they're going to punt it back. But Luke Wyatt getting the TFL. Hey, Holly getting the catch. I was so excited for him. I think that's his first catch. End of the third quarter. This one was never in doubt. We're up 56 to 6 on UCF and the backups are in. Okay, I put the starters back out here. Because why wouldn't I? Oh my god, that guy jumped in. I've never seen a safety jump four verts like that before. I also break off every single tackle attempt. I mean, it's literally the last game, like the last quarter. And now is when the game decides, hey, wait, we're not gonna make that work anymore. Uh, too little, too late, bud. And down for TFL. Sherman getting back there. Again, I just love seeing like everyone. That's the upside of the backups coming out here. And they're going to go for it. Oh, I still have my zone adjustment set to uh, shallow to stop the run. They're going to pass it here. This might be bad. Edmund almost went for pick number two, actually. All right, well, that's the turnover. We'll turn over on downs anyways. Good man coverage. Slide down. Oh, I didn't see. Well, Underwood's a 99 overall player. <laughs> that was a perfect pass, dude. That just dropped right in that bucket. And Sims in for the touchdown. All right. So who needs one? The cheat, right? The cheat, Randall. I think it's just those two. Yeah, the cheat and Randall. King, Tuggle, Herman. Sims, they all got touchdowns now. I'm more worried about the cheat, honestly. Randall's already got four this year, including one of the most memorable plays. Oh, the starters are back out here. Why? 
I over pursued. He went down anyways. Good job, Hicks. Oh, I took the wrong angle. It didn't matter. He broke off the first tackle anyways. Morton taking him down for a sack. Thank you. There it is. Edmund, pick number two. Does not break off the tackle. Edmund's just like, he saved it all up for this. He's like, this will be my legacy. Oh, the pressure got there. I was about to have the cheat wide open. Great snag by Sims. He is killing it. What's he at? He's at 130 yards today. And there it is. The cheat in for a touchdown. We got 319 left. Maybe we get the ball back in time to get it to Randall. Husky's about to break. He tied the season record. He broke his single game record. <laughs> That's 70. Uh, again, I am screwing up these tackles today. I had that one read. It said it was a screen. I predicted right and then just over pursued and then... Yeah. <laughs> Sims wiping them out. Okay. There's a minute 29 left. This is probably the last drive. And I think it's starting to hit me that, like, it's over. Also, I'm pretty sure I did my math wrong on whatever the rushing record was, and I'm off by about 100 yards, but it's fine. Um, this is it. Like, never say never, but I don't know if I'm ever coming back to NCAA 14. I'm hoping college football 25 is amazing, and if it is, then even if I came back to an old game, it would probably be that. I mean, I'm sure at some point maybe I'll come back, but I don't usually. I know a lot of people enjoy going back to old NCAA games, but I haven't played anything besides 14 since I moved up to 14. So I don't know if I'm ever coming back to this. But I'm excited for the new game. It looks amazing. And we're going to find that out within hours of this episode going up, but... Yeah, it's just about over. This is going down as one of the greatest games of all time. Like, as far as sports video games, NCAA 14. There's debates. I prefer ESPN 2K25, although I haven't played that in years. I like Madden 02. I've never played. I don't remember Madden 04. But this one's going to go down in history. And this is about to be the last play. And I asked you guys what it should be. It's going to be four verts. But realistically, we got to chuck it in the triple coverage. Come on, Randall. Oh, I was only double coverage. It doesn't count. <laughs> How else can I go out? And that's it. We are back-to-back -back national champions. The Monmouth Hawks have done it. They've ascended to the top of the football world. This was an incredible halfback dive. I can't believe this was halfback dive. But that's it, everyone. That's the end of NCAA 14. What? Just what a beautiful game that we've all enjoyed. 11 years. But just like Pepper Pot said at the end of Endgame, it's okay. You can rest now. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting all the series. I hope EA College Football 25 improves massively on NCAA 14, and I plan on improving the next dynasty over these last ones. Thank you. Thank you, NCAA 14.